pin router is something that uh, a lot of guitar builders will lust after and uh, I never really knew what one was for many many years and uh, this isn't really a pin router this is a uh, well god I don't even know what it is it's a something I used to hang tools on there are the uh, custom clamp uh, cam clamps we made the other day anyhow I'm going to set this up as a pin router and uh, show you what it uh, what it does. This is an old Watkin machine. I'm not entirely sure what it actually was called uh, to start with, but it basically it acts the same as a milling machine with a three-axis table. Uh, using these beautiful wheels, I can move this table left, right, backwards, forwards, and up and down. I can also move the router itself either with this handle or with a with a foot pedal and this is the beautiful thing you can lock that off and say okay I want to cut that much material away uh, there are several things you can do with this uh, you can use it as a modified planar thicknesser so if for example my planar thickness has only got a 12 inch bed and uh, if you've got a big 14 inch guitar body that needs uh, roughing flat, you can use this, run your piece under, boom, 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 and you'll cut it to the right thickness. You can use it as a pin router by, I've drilled and threaded a hole there, that's the right, uh, well, it's right for me. <laughs> Can you tell I've got a cold? I can't really think straight. Now, those bearings can be any size bearing that you require, and they should match up with your router bit, which they obviously don't in this case because I haven't changed router bit. But the theory behind this is that you run a template along the bearings, and your cutter will cut exactly where the bearings are and thus a pin router is born now it's uh, it's very very useful I I don't know I feel more comfortable uh, with templates and bearing cutters and a hand router but that's just because I'm me I prefer to be hands-on uh, and, and that's that now the other purpose uh, well, sorry, the last thing I must say about pin routers is that you can, you don't need all of the moving tables and all of this. All you need is up and down movement. And uh, in fact, it's probably better to have a static pin and a static router that never moves because you'll never worry about being out of true, which I do all the time. But uh, like most guitar builders, uh, I started off with a very little money. And uh, uh, yes, this works uh, very, very well. Now, the final thing that you can do is you can use this as a to cut the internal carved cavity of a guitar. And, uh, and that's fun. Basically, again, you set the depth. Say you want the inside of your guitar to be 5mm or 6mm or 9mm like that, thick. And then you put your guitar in there put that router bit inside your pre-routed control cavity and slowly route away and that is what I'm going to be doing today obviously there's been some dewy rigging to make this little router work I was rather desperate the day that this exploded uh, the day that my big router that used to be attached exploded I was desperate for a pin router. So, this is what we ended up with. Now, there you go. Lock that off. And you can see that little router bit is centered over the center of this. And I've rounded that over on the lathe so that it's not going to damage my guitar. Clear some space and you can see what I mean. The guitar is going to run along the top.
and go up and down with the calf and I'm going to route that flat cavity to match the beautifully carved top of our guitar and thus I won't have any issues with installing the myriad electronics that, uh, that go in there. <sighs> it's a bit nerve-wracking um, I must say if you are doing this obviously hold as many hands as possible that's free and if you slip it can get you uh, I haven't slipped and I don't think anybody with skill would uh, but uh, you've got to be aware of that and also if you lose concentration and lift the guitar up you could route a hole through the top and you absolutely don't want to do that. So it's the same as doing any other routing really you have to make absolutely certain that uh, you're taking small, the smallest amount possible really three or four millimeters at a time on each pass and you are not likely to uh, break a route of it which has happened or if you've not put it properly in the router sometimes they come loose and uh, I want to say the word spall um, I suppose that's from bullets uh, I don't know anyway you don't want the route of it to fall off or, or break and you absolutely don't want it to catch too much uh, grain and rip the guitar out of your hands because at that point well you've got a three or four pound guitar body uh, falling all over the place splintering and smacking you in the gut and it wouldn't be fun would it uh, nonetheless nonetheless um, this is guitar building so be careful and uh, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna route this control cavity out now I've scared myself now I don't want to do it um, cup of tea first I think first things first we need to adjust the height of the table and make absolutely certain that uh, the cutter cannot go any closer to the front of the guitar and this is as far down as the router will go and uh, that is about six mil so I'm going to move my table up just a fraction I do have a depth gauge somewhere and uh, well I suspect somebody threw it away in some shavings which is a perennial issue in guitar building. There we go that is now set so that the router bit cannot go any closer to the front and uh, it means that as long as I hold on to the guitar properly I will be alright. So uh, the last router bit that I put in it was actually uh, the wrong type uh, it was rounded but it didn't have a bearing on it and I was distracted by talking to you I do need a bearing to make sure that I don't go outside of my control cavity so that's going in there I don't want it too deep because then the uh, collet would be biting into my guitar And I'm now going to have to reset the depth of cut, which is fine. Yep, that looks right. Now to put on some protection and some music and uh, cut into a guitar. Extraction on. Now remember, I'm not doing this all the way down in one shot. I am going to take it down little by little. And here you can see now I've got this bearing in. The bearing will run along the edge and I won't take too much off. I'm going to stop thinking about you and I'm going to start thinking about the time. Yeah? 